Chairman of the Opposition NDC, Samuel Fusuampofu, who led the party to the resident of the late president, pledged the party will fully cooperate with the state to ensure their founder is giving a befitting burial. It's our funeral as a party, and for that matter, we are preparing to participate fully in every aspect of the funeral to get a befitting uh, you know, farewell to one of the illustrious sons of this country, His Excellency uh, Jerry John Rawlings, for his outstanding contribution of democracy and the, 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 the fact that he led the Fourth Republic uh, Constitution, which has stood the test of time and has provided the greatest period of stability in the social economy and political life of our country. We are pained by his demise. We are saddened because it is a huge vacuum that has been created. But we take consolation in the fact that he has served his nation well, he has served the African continent well, he has served the global community well, and he'll be fondly remembered for all the positive contribution he made towards the growth and development of humanity. Minority leader Haruna Idrisu said the sudden death of the former president has created an irreplaceable void in the party and the country. In a sarcastic tone, the Tamale South MP said the funeral belongs to the NDC and the party will not allow anyone to come and cry more than the family members and members of the NDC. The sudden departure creates a void that we believe will be difficult, if not impossible, to fill. He's left a heritage and a legacy, a legacy of consciousness, of probity, justice, and accountability as values and standards that should guide aspiration to public office and public service. We are devastated in grief, but we have a duty not just to mourn him, but to preserve his heritage. His heritage has contributed enormously to Ghana being a beacon of hope, a functional multi-party constitutional democracy, navigating the difficult waters of a transition from militarism to multi-party constitutional rule. Today, fundamental human rights and freedoms are upheld, including your own media freedoms. Thanks to his sacrifices and judgment in ushering Ghana in as the first president of the Fourth uh, Republic. So we are devastated in grief, but be assured that this is our funeral. You cannot come to my mother's funeral and weep more than me. So we mourn with the Ghanaian people and the state. He was also an international icon and have made monumental contribution into reforming the economic and political landscape of our country. Former Chief of Defence and a member of the Provisional National Defence Council government, Brigadier Nunu Mensah, said the death of the founder of the NDC should rally the country towards a peaceful election come December 7. After Nkuma, nobody is bigger than Jerry Rawlings because he ruled the country longer than any other president in this country here. So even Nkuma said what? What Nkuma said from 51 to government business, leader of government business, then prime minister, president, all about 51, 50, not 15, 50, about 15 years. He said about 19, 20 years. So the name is quite a big name. People like you don't have any name that you can remember without history, except Jerry Rawlings. You didn't know him. So he has had profound effect on our development. And he burst onto the scene some 41 years ago. 79, the part of Ghana over this 41 years. So you cannot wish him away. So what I think that we people should do is to learn about his life, the positive sides of his life, which there are plenty of it. Find out what they are and learn to make Ghana a better place. We have elections coming very soon. People are talking about war. No need for war. If Rollins went to war with the coup d'etat, it was to create a peaceful Ghana, not to make Ghana warlike. The idea was to set up a system of government which would make anybody happy enough not to create havoc in this country. So if today we are talking about going to war, MPP and are talking about going to war, that is most unfortunate. That should not be there. 
the, the, the objective. But there we should have a peaceful country. So, so you, are you saying that he's there should unite the country as we go into the election? Yeah, the country should be, in fact, his death should actually propel us into more peaceful election. Mm. That's the reason why Rawlings came onto the scene, to make Ghana a more peaceful and prosperous country. People don't understand. He didn't come to power to amass wealth, to acquire wealth. He came to create a, a country which will be at peace with itself. So if Ghana today, MPP is talking about war and war and war and war, it's not what Rawlings wished for. So it should be rather, as we vote next month, mm. To elect a new, a new uh, president, we should be gathered by the pr principle of peace and tranquility, which Rawlings espoused when he was in office. Member of Parliament for South Day in the Volta region, Roxin Dafil Mekpo, who said he provided legal advice to the late former president on some national issues, tells Joy News how the late soldier took a personal interest in his growth within the political landscape and how his demise affects him personally. Uh, in fact, I, I do visit him frequently. He, as I speak to you, I have I brought him fish just about a month ago when, when the mother died. He asked me to bring him. It's a huge fish. It's about human size. We call it Lency. So he asked me to bring him some for the funeral. So the flax is even, the ice chest is actually in the house now. And I, I do visit him. I, he, 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 he took some particular interest in me. Did he have any impact in your life? Uh, yes, yes. I, I'm turning out to be a very good politician and I think I owe it to him. And I remember particularly, you know, he, he raised the issue of indemnity clauses about a couple of months back. And so he summoned me and I said, well, I should, he has spoken, he's raised the issue, but he needed serious legal advice on the, on the, on the consequences. And after I, I gave him some sort of lecture on, on the ramifications of the indemnity clauses being taken out of the Constitution, he, he, it, was as, it was like a deja vu. He, we woke up and said, well, we may have to, we, may, we, may, we then have to live it the way it is. You know, and we laughed about it. So, you know, so... It's a huge loss, um, particularly...